Welcome back, everybody. Today, we have Silver Tide Christy, who is fortunately, maybe unfortunately, the newest specially changed character that's come to Epic 7. I think she looks cool. I like the sword and shield aesthetic. I've always been kind of like a medieval-y, knighty kind of character enjoyer. And the build that I'm going to be testing today to see just how good this character is, is an 1800 defense, 24k HP, 130, or basically base speed, 200 effect resistance Christie build. Now, of course, you could argue that you could get 300 effect resistance. However, they recently introduced the fact or they added in the fact that now she gives herself effectiveness buff. So what we're going to try and do is see if the effectiveness buff is actually decent. If you can make use of it, if you give yourself the defense buff and the effectiveness buff, we're going to be pairing this character with a couple characters like Emma Bologna or ML Ken. Maybe they'll be good. Maybe they'll be not. All I know is that the Silver Tide Christie character feels like she has an identity crisis going on. Hopefully that's not the case and we can find some wins. We can find some dubs. Who knows though? Let's get into it. Okay, bucko. It's time to play right. Whose Team Is It Anyways? Featuring Candy, Rylet, and all of the goons. Hopefully. Oh, oh I kind of forgot that this happened now that I think about it. I guess like the really big problem here or like the no biggest concern that i have is one shotting or dealing with the oh what the that's not very good huh huh that's that wasn't very good if he didn't counter i think he would have just gotten one shot right here right yeah if he didn't counter he would have been oh that's so bad that's so bad that's so bad okay 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 however however though that was not the greatest if he decides to s3 into Candy? Ooh, don't hit, don't hit, don't hit, don't hit, don't hit, don't hit! Okay, nice. Wow, I think she is just gone. Nice, perfect. Everyone gets an attack buff. Okay, so, you know, even though Emma... Okay, so even though Emma Bologna is supposed to be, like, the answer to anti-crit and... Stuff like that. We are still in a pretty good spot. We've got Aureus. We've, we've got Elbrus, which actually, there's literally nothing here. That's actually really bad for me. Uh, I really wanted to get a blind in. This is not looking too good because basically now I have three landmine characters that I have to hit. I guess it's got to be hitting the, the last rider crown. Uh, Here I come. <laughs> I'm, I, oh my god, there's so many landmines. Either everyone gets a defense buff, <laughs> Abyssal Yuffie starts screaming at me very angrily, or or Pillis gives defense, or uh, or Last Rider Crowd gets an S3. You know what I mean? This is this is a very good. This is this is kind of a bad spot for me. Uh, okay, okay, okay. We are in a better spot now. Nice, nice, nice. We have Elbrus. Like, normally, I would say that's a bit of a problem, but I think because with Pillet or with Christy here, I think that's just... Normally, I would say that it's a bit of a problem to be countering like that because I don't have any value. But kind of similar to Arrowall, we do heal with Christy. Unfortunately, we are full health, though. So, like, that doesn't actually do anything for us. But it is worth noting that if we were a little bit lower, if we decided to try and focus the Christy, we would be in an okay spot here. Pillis actually kind of loses some value now that I think about it because he is literally unable because he is literally unable to strip <laughs> he's literally unable to strip my evasion buff so technically speaking Christy with the remnant violet was a genius play I guess if you want to think about it that way look at look at remnant violet he's all in the back he's chilling he's relaxing he's vibing he doesn't care much Look at this, look at this, and watch this, watch this, watch this. Abyssal Yuffine, of course, is going to, like, you know, activate her S3 here. But assuming I don't get hit, number one, number one, we can get a counter from Emma Landy. Did not happen. But then, number two, we have Remnant Violet to just one-shot the enemy. Oh. Nice heal. Doesn't matter for me, though. Remnant Violet! The true king of RTA. Oh, that is holy sack. Oh, I forgot about that. But her trauma's gone. Her trauma's gone. So like, nothing. like what is Abyssal Yuffie supposed to do when there's no more trauma left for her? Nothing. Nothing. Congratulations. Welcome back to, welcome back to Earth, Yuffie. You have nothing else to do. Perfect. Okay. So normally I would be in a really, really, or I'd 
really, really not want to see what happens here. But for the sake of maybe proccing or activating the Navy Captain Landy, I'm going to activate or I'm going to skill three with my DPS Zeo onto the Navy Captain Landy. Oh my God, it almost got one shot. Uh, he's now stuck between a rock and a hard place. If he S1s, he activates. If he S3s, okay, now I, now I activate. And ultimately, what is there to fear but fear itself? Yeah, because look at this, right? Obviously, this is not going to work for him. If I end up getting countered or if I have, like, the defense buff, all these things look fine. Maybe Captain Landy could maybe... Spectre Tenebria and Remnant Violet probably aren't going to one-shot me. I stripped Rylan! I stripped Rylan! He's blind! Rylan is blind! Okay, it would have been nice, of course, to hit the Spectre Tenebria. Obviously, that's not the case. But there's a nice little counter. Oh! Oh, wait! I countered! I countered! And just like that, boys. I did you adieu. And that's how the cookie crumbles, boys. Sometimes, sometimes you win some, sometimes you lose some. <laughs> Remnant Violet Inspector Tenebria, best DPS in the best DPS combo of all time. Only for my team, not for his team. Okay, so instead of always trying to play slow, I decided to figure out basically what would happen if I decided to, oh, you know play a little bit of speed. I have Zeo and Broman, who I think is like one of the funniest characters I've ever seen. Uh, I think both of these characters are, are you know, Zeo and Broman work well together, but also against each other. Uh, this is a two turn silence, by the way, which is why I like this the most. I did not think that I was going to be uh, completely sent to one health with this comp, but I dual attacked, and I guess that was also enough. I kind of didn't realize that was going to happen, but... But, let's be honest here. The silence is kind of damning. Meteor Cowric kind of gets screwed over, or Meteor Cowric loses pretty hard to Benevolent Roman just because he gets silenced. Look at all the defense breaks. Look at all the silences. Like, there's not really much else that you can do. Um, even right now, there's, like... What, what is he going to do to me? What is he going to do to me? I get myself attack buff. And honestly, even if Spectre Tenebria goes for like the Soul Burn S1 into S3, we do have Aureus, right? You can't really one-shot my Aureus either because she's got defense buff. He doesn't have attack buff. There's like a lot of things in my favor right now. Okay, we don't have a counter yet. But... But it is Aureus, right? So like the second that I, the second that he S3s, or, oh. Okay, maybe not. Honestly, I was thinking that the second that I had the opportunity to knock the Briar out of stealth, now I can revive. Yeah, this just looks over. I don't <laughs> I would like to say that the game would be a little bit closer, but the dual attack did help me a lot, which is nice, I guess. But he kind of has to heal with Aiden now, but I've got Holy Sack. So, like, the revive is kind of bad for him, and I have the Aureus and the boot. Roman, this is kind of a Broman showcase, to be honest with you. If I'm, like, thinking more, like, closely about what happened. Oh, nice. Huge counter. Um. I mean, okay, like, 1,000 health is obviously not going to do too much. I have been hitting him quite a bit. But even on this hit, right, like, he kind of had to one-shot my Yuffie prior to this turn. Because what's about to happen now is pretty unethical, right? Like, I'm, he's going to one-shot my, or he's going to go for the jugular onto my Yuffie. Okay, so, he's going to obviously try to one-shot my Yuffie, which is fine because I have Holy Sack and there's no more Briar Witch. And now that she's back, if I just... Skill three here, we push back with trauma. I should cut. In theory, I should cut. It was really fortunate that I cut right here, actually. I <laughs> I didn't realize I wasn't going to cut. What? Okay, oh, okay. all right, all right. No hand motion, I will say stoically. 
Okay, this time around we are able to give the entire team vigor, which is great. But we have to deal with kind of the goons of E7 right now. We have Death Dealer Ray, we have Abyssal Yuffie, and I hate all these characters. But so long as we get a little bit of luck and a little bit of proper timing, we should be okay. Uh, what I'm probably what I'm probably looking to activate right now is a couple of Emma Landy counters. It would be really nice, of course, if I could get a cleanse. Uh, I did put LQC in the back line. I don't know how much. Oh, well, that didn't really do anything, I guess. Uh, however, it doesn't really matter too, too much, even if he ends up provoking here. I don't actually know if he has enough F here to provoke. Is it enough? Okay, that's not very good. All right, oh, okay, okay, okay. All right, I take it back. This is a terrible thing. This is absolutely terrible. Uh, we are countering, but this is like the absolute last way that I wanted to end up countering. Um, if Emma Landy could start countering, that would be really nice, actually. I don't even know who this is provoked to. Not my 10 stack hell cutter, please! Okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Um, There's not a lot of, like, big damage output here. I know that there is the rocket punch, but we have increased defense. We have vigor. We technically still also have the Aureus. Nice, nice counter. There is a chance. There is a chance that once I just end up giving attack buffs to this LQC or to my Navy Captain Landy, he'll just pop off. Navy Captain Landy still has vigor here. Uh, so whether or not she actually needs the exact S3 to one shot, kind of up for debate. Uh, there's some defense and we do have some mitigation. I don't know if he's, I think he's kind of on the edge of whether or not he wants to go for the LQC kill. Okay, well, obviously then, if you're like that close, then it's, do you know what I mean? Okay, 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 I guess this is payback for all the dual attacks I got from the last games. Fair is fair, fair is fair. Oh, nice, we got an Elbrus proc. He has to soul burn. He has to soul burn. But if he ends up soul burning here and I get to use my Navy Captain Landy S3, I think he's just gone. Oh. Proc? Okay, no proc. But I think the skill three here should just one shot him. I have vigor and attack buff. I think I've countered like three or four times now at this point. Bing, bing, bing. <laughs> okay, so that looks pretty funny. Uh, I am going to one shot, hopefully, with Emma Landy. Ding, ding, ding. And very good. So, obviously, it would have been nice to get a little bit of LQC action, but pretty much any time that you put a character in the back line with Christy, they hard focus the character. They try to do their best to one shot the character. But then, like, if you have a secondary threat, like, I don't know, Naval Captain Landy or Abyssal Yuffie, they kind of just forget about them, or not really forget about them. They can't afford to one-shot the other unit. So then, you invest all your resources into one-shotting that one unit, and then the other character gets to become like the main, the main character, the MC, the Giga Chad, the protagonist. Not that I really want any more of that from Navy Captain Lanny, but we got to showcase just how strong or just how impactful having like a souped up, like super backline superhero character can really be. And so, whether or not she's good at this stat line, it's kind of up to debate. She's still only 95 base speed, which is not the greatest in the world. Arguably, the counter was useless. She didn't really do much in terms of adding to the fight because she had the ability to counter. So I think that maybe if you're going to use this character, maybe a more speed prominent build, like a 220, 230, set up all your dps with an attack buff build could be decent as well however with that sort of build if you're downtime or if the thing that you do in between your skill threes is just s1 and provoke in a matter where everyone has immunity or effect resistance i don't really know what the point of this character is or what the point of that buff is hopefully one of you guys finds out or if you guys do 
make sure to let me know in the comment section below both of blah, blah, blah. but for the rest of you guys thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed learned something laughed giggled cried we all cried but anyways guys that's going to be it for this video make sure to like and comment as i mentioned before uh turn the notification bell and subscribe i'll see you on the next one make sure to check out the rest of my platforms i stream every time on youtube and twitch i meant to see uh, i meant to say every day which i do kind of stream most days i try to stream at least five or six times a week uh anyways guys that's gonna be it for this video i'll see you on the next one adios